Uh, so this is going to be my unboxing of the the Overwatch from the PS4. Uh, you know, I got this at Fred Meyer for at least 100, 120, 129.99 plus tax. Uh, you know, I got a pretty good price on this. I got this, like I said, I got this at Fred Meyer's because they got a pretty good, uh, they got a pretty good, they got a pretty good cash to put out. So yeah, this is actually my first time getting a Blizzard game. On the, you see the Overwatch right here. And on this side right here, you get to see all the stuff that's in, all the physical stuff that's in there, which I think is nice. It looks pretty nice. I like this. This is actually my first time. Yes, I know this is a, yes, I understand this is a pretty late unboxing for a collector's edition. But just so you know, uh, before I, before I do this unboxing, did you guys, I've heard, uh, I've heard the, I heard the director Tabata, who made Final Fantasy XV, he said the game was delayed and it's going to be at November 29th. Uh, 2016 it's gonna be after Black Friday and let me give you my thought and opinion for this kind of thing I thought this is actually a, an, a good idea to do good idea to do that Sometimes because you know he wants to make because the director want to make the game look fresh look nice look crispy everything And just so you know to be very clear with you guys uh Tabata he listen he listened to you guys like you know To be honest like not every game is perfect right? Not every game is perfect as much because at games we play from here from then to now wasn't wasn't as great, but some games that are good and some games that are bad, you know. You know, not everything not every game is bad, not every game is terrible, it's just something that like, you know, like everything is not easy though, so yeah. I just wanna give you a little update, like, you know. And I understand and I understand why why that has to be delayed. I mean that's just one man's opinion. I I could be wrong for some point. Let me know in the com comments what do you guys think about the update of the of of the delay of the Final Fantasy 15 game. To be honest, I'm I'm okay with it as long as they don't they don't they don't rush it or to do something really crazy about it. They can't, the only thing that matters is like they can't they can't fuck it up. Same same thing goes for Final Fantasy 7 remake. They have to. Same thing goes for Final Fantasy VII Remake because you know why I'm mentioning this because because a lot of you fans uh, a lot of you fans are are a huge fan of the classic games of Final Fantasy VII you know so yeah so I know it's been ten years to wait for that game but yeah as long as hey if it's only for like a few months it's not that bad it's just they want to make the like like I said Tabata want to make the game look fresh the Japanese director. And uh, that's all. That's all for the update. Now let's. Sorry, this is for a little off topic. So let's move on the unboxing to show you what I. So I got the uh, Ysis and. Uh, this is actually my first time getting a Blizzard game. I think I know what Blizzard Blizzard company is. It's actually like you know they're one of the team who made World of Warcraft. This is a pretty similar thing. I had to get this uh, collector's edition just because of the statue, and just so you know, not just because of that. I read the reviews. Like I've heard that this game was pretty good. You can you can get to use game. You get to choose any characters however you want, which I think is great. I've heard there were some controversies, controversials a few months ago about Tracer with the butt pose. To be honest, that they think it's sexual. To me, I don't believe that it's, it's really sexual because you know. We've seen games that are, we've seen games that are really immature, you know? So, yeah. And now, uh, here's, uh, here's the cover, here's the artwork, which is pretty, half artwork. It looks pretty nice, I like it. I like it. And let me see, and here's the Overwatch. Right here. Symbol looks pretty cool. You know what, this is pretty impressive. I like this. Here's the Overwatch, and you know what's inside right here? Let me open this. Okay, yeah. It's a cool in here, but you know, it looks, it looks pretty nice. And you can see the Overwatch right here, which I already showed you. Uh, the one, and here's the artwork. Like, let me show you. And whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, that looks that looks impressive, right? Looks really cool. Here's the foam. Okay. Yeah, all the artwork looks pretty good, I should say. I like this. 
There's nothing on the bottom. There you always see the logo right there. And here's the physical stuff. Yep. And here's the statue. Whoa. Uh, pretty huge. And it looks, and I like the box of this, it looks pretty nice, you can see it right here. I think this is uh, the Soldier 76. Here's the art book, and here's the Velcro. Hold on. Hold on guys, I just need to pick it up. You know, I like this art book, it looks pretty nice, uh, you know, I like it. Here's the artwork here, over there, let me open this. I mean, all, all these stuff looks great, I should say, all of them. And, uh, yeah. Looks pretty clean, some of the characters. I gotta say, well done Blizzard Games for making a, for making a unique stuff, like, I like it. It's really cool. Put it in. Nice. And here are some postcards, I think, or no, this is a soundtrack. Here's the soundtrack. Yep. I think I might open this. Open this. You know, I really do like this collector's edition. It feels pretty interesting. Yes, I know it's a pretty late video again about this, but it's better late than never because sometimes I had to get it at the right price. It looks pretty impressive though, I should say, in the back. Let me show you the whole DVD. Here it is. Yeah, it looks nice. Uh, oh, wow, it smells really, it smells really uh, pretty toxicated, but uh, here's, uh, here's the music sheet and here's the artwork again. Really nice. It's really great. I like this. And here's this, here's the steel book. Uh, and I always love the steel book case games. It's really nice. Here's the front, here's the back, here's the side. And this is really cool. So cool. Here are some uh, limited edition. Here's here's the code, which I'm to be honest, I don't really care much about the DLC codes because none of that was really that important though. So uh so yeah, I didn't really care much about it. Here's the game disc. Oh. Now, all these stuff are great, man. I, I really do appreciate this. And here's some uh, postcards. Here's all of them. And I gotta say, that is a lot of postcards. That's a lot of postcards, you know? See? Uh, you yeah. know, there's a lot of them. Sorry about the noise. Again, it's just like my my mom has to cook Dorado. Dorado, uh... It's pretty nice. I mean, everything looks nice in here. I mean, this is all... To be honest, I can't show you every single... Every single one of these because, you know, there's like a lot of... There's like a lot of, I might show you one of these for a few pictures, but not a lot. So yeah. I mean, to be honest, this is actually a really good collector's edition if you're into something. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, the box is super huge and super heavy. You know, let's go on to the physical stuff. The Soldier 76, the statue. There's an instruction. There's it. And, uh, let me open this. Looks 
pretty impressive. Here, Soldier Sand. There's a logo. Sorry, point here. There's a logo of Blizzard. Like I said, I think what I said before is like, you know, they're one of the guys who made World of Warcraft games. You can't promise me. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I think. Sorry about what I said. It's just. I don't know, but I'm pretty weird. Okay. Wow. Here's the base. A very heavy base. Here's a heavy base, right here. Here's the statue. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know if black, but Here's Soldier 76, and I gotta say, he does look pretty cool. The details on this guy. Well, let me put him in the base. I gotta say, it looks pretty good. Has a statue. And I gotta say, this does look pretty good. There's some paint detailing right here and some of the shading. Let me give you a 360 look. This ass right here and the gun. I gotta say, this, this does look pretty uh, bland, but for the most part, I, I do like this. Even though it looks black, there are some uh, paint detailing in this. I just really wish she does have some paint detailing, but I don't think that's gonna be a big problem. I still like this. I really do. Uh, yeah. So I think that's all the video. So I think that's it for the video. Uh, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Or do you like this? Do you like this video? Uh, share this video. Uh, uh, follow me on. Uh, friend me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and the link in the description to see more videos and unboxings to show you guys like this. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I hope you guys get to play some games like this. And uh, peace. Okay.